Huddle with the coaches. Five defensive backs in there now for the Scarlet Knights. Blanton, Baker, McCoy, Allen, and Sellers. The ball at the 50. Again, John, a great time for a screen pass. Daniels to the right. Smith to the left. High formation, Green and Brown, the running backs. The fake, back is Saka, looking, looking. Here's the screen, it's complete. On the move at the 45, the 40, at the 35. Some room for Brown, cuts it back and dragged down at the 30-yard line of Rutgers. Brown broke it on the screen. They almost had him back near midfield, but he was able to run away from the coverage and get down to the 30, a 20-yard pickup, and we have another Rutgers player down on the field. Well, that's great play selection because they're coming, they're mixing up their nickel package with some blitzing. Screen was the perfect call. I'm glad whoever called it called it. Brown almost took this. He's going to be a great black because he sees the whole field. He cut it back, another one block, and he would have taken that in for a touchdown. He had to give a little ground. And one of the keys to this offensive resurgence has to be the play of Tony Saka, the freshman. He's three for seven, passing 66 yards. But as you mentioned, George, one of the early things that he did in rolling out and showing his mobility really changed the tempo and the feeling defensively for Rutgers. Well, he picks up a team because he puts so much pressure on the, the outside contained people because if he gets outside, he's got the defense in the bind. He can run with the ball or he can throw it. If the, the coverage comes up, he'll throw the football. And I look for them to do that again. The injured player is Ron Allen from Iceland, New Jersey. He is down on the far side of the field, right in front of the Penn State bench. The football is resting at the 30-yard line. The Lions started this drive at the 10. They went 29 yards to Timpson, then another 11 yards to midfield. Now a 20-yard pickup to the 30. John, remember when they tried to end around, the flank around with Timpson? He fell down. It was wide open. They had to take some kind of a chance like that. It probably could go. If it goes, it'll probably go all the way. I don't know if they're going to do it. The injured player, Ron Allen, is being helped to the Scarlet Knights bench. And while he heads in that direction, let's pause. Ten seconds for station identification. This is the Penn State Sports Network. Two minutes and 16 seconds to play. And most important, two timeouts. So in other words, and they're in a four down area. Obviously, they got four. Rutgers has two, Penn State Rutgers. still has three. Yeah, but we have three timeouts yes. left. So plus that, plus being a four down area, that's a lot of time. In other words, they can keep, they can run the ball quite a bit here, trying to run a draw play, get another first down, keep it going until they get real close. Daniels to the left, Smith to the right. Out of the eye formation, Todd Young switches from the left side to the right side. They do run the football and a loss of a yard on first down by Brown. Slicing in was Ron Bug to make the tackle. John, I would get Todd Young out of there. He has not played that much against the run. He almost could have got called for not being down for a full second. They could have called a penalty on him, and it was his man, I believe, that blitzed from the outside. He, didn't, he seems unsure of himself as who to block. Penn State takes the timeout with two minutes exactly remaining in the football game. Rutgers leading 21 to 16. Tony Saka goes to the sideline to confer with the coaches. And everybody is still here. The 10th largest crowd in Beaver Stadium history coming one week after we had uh, the 10 millionth fan pass through the gates of Beaver Stadium. And this has been a beauty. Last week, Penn State winning with 43 seconds left in the game on a field goal. Tonight, or this afternoon, two minutes left in the game. Rutgers up by five. A strong performance by Rutgers. But one thing that really killed Penn State, a couple of penalties right on the first drive of the second half that Rutgers practically walked in for the score. Very similar to what happened to BC. Last week, Penn State was fortunate. Let's see if they're that fortunate to pull it out today. But again, they got three downs to make that first down. And uh, here's when you hope that they got some real uh, secret plays. We used to say going to the bag that's going to fool everybody. Backs are split behind Saka. Smith to the right, Daniels to the left. Straight back is Saka. Looking down it is. for the tight end, incomplete at the 10-yard line. Todd Young got a hand on it, could not hang on at the 10-yard line. That should have been completed. That, that's a good play. They It'll, ran the tight end, they split the, the secondary. Saka showed a lot of poise, waited. They had a blitz on to the inside, it was picked up. And he put it in the tight end's hands. I mean, it would have been a good catch, but you got to catch those if you're going to win a big game. It'll be third down, 11. Timpson returns to the lineup. He's split to the left. Daniels split to the right. Saka with the backs. Brown and Green. Here comes the blitz. 
Rolling to his right, looks back left over the middle of the pass, incomplete. Intended for David Daniels. He got a hand on it at the 22 and could not hang on. Now it will be fourth down 11. Oh, that's too bad because Saka sort of blitzed just in a semi row. He picked up Daniels, who's coming back underneath. He threw it a little high. Also a catchable ball. It would have been that big first down. Now they're down to pretty much one play. Now it's fourth and 11. The clock shows a minute 49 to play in the football game. David Jacob comes back in at tight end. Timpson and Daniels split wide left. The backs are split behind Tony Saka. The Nittany Lions looking for the big strike to Timpson. He's got a diving cat first down. Inside the 20 at the 17 yard line. First down for Penn State. And that's a big time throw. He threw it low and away so the defenders could not get their hands on it. Michael Timpson makes another great play to the inside. I would not be afraid to throw the ball to Michael Timpson over the middle. Ball at the 17 yard line. A big fourth down conversion and the Nittany Lions are going to stop the clock with a minute and 36 seconds to play. Penn State will have one timeout remaining. Rutgers has two. The ball at the 17 yard line and Tony Saka has come up big in his first game. You know the, the last two in, uh, uh, incompletions they could have been caught. Young could have caught that ball. Hasn't played that much. And the other one could have been caught too. There would have been good catches, but he's right on the mark. He doesn't get flustered. He looks awfully good for a freshman. I would like to see him come on that rollout where he has an option. Like I still got plenty of time. They still can get another first down. This is going to go right down to the wide. A minute and 36 seconds of football left in Beaver Stadium. We entered the fourth quarter. It looked like the Scarlet Knights were in good shape to snap a 15 consecutive game losing streak to Penn State. But with Tom Bill injured, Tony Saka has come on and he has rallied the troops offensively. This drive, for example, started at the Penn State 10 yard line. They have marched down to the 17 of Rutgers. And Saka, since coming into the ball game, is four for nine for 80 yards. He's carried the ball twice for 23 yards. Tom Bill is on the sidelines with crutches and ice on the knee. Single coverage on Timpson. Yes, now Here's the, the reverse. Antonio. Timpson has it. Soccer falls. No, they fake it. And it is still Brown with the football down at the 12-yard line. Saka had fallen down. Keep in mind, he did play a little bit at Virginia. Let's see where they spot it. They're going to spot him down back at the 18. That's the original line of scrimmage. Well, John, the, the ball handling was so good, we thought Timpson had it. I think if they gave the ball to Timpson, he might have taken it in. Second down. Saka throws it away to get the, stop, the clock stopped. It'll be third down. So now they're down to two plays, third down, and you know on fourth down they will go for it. The Lions have already picked up one big fourth down play. It'll be third and about 11. A minute and eight seconds left. They fooled everybody in the reverse. Then Saka fell down, and I saw the running back stop. Well, they, you know, they figured maybe Rutgers would anticipate the end around with Simpson. They faked it, let Brown keep it. Not a bad call, but as it turned out to be, it looked like uh, Timpson might have been able to make some yardage, but you'd never know it. Smith comes on for Timpson. Now they should try to get at least seven here. Timeout will be taken by Rutgers, and each team will have one timeout remaining. Well, the reason Rutgers is taking timeout, number one, to set their defense, set their people down also, that if Penn State scores here, they might want to get one more shot at coming back and kick a field goal. The difference in the game, five points. It's 21 to 16. The Scarlet Knights scoring two touchdowns in the third quarter to take the lead. And the Nittany Lions came alive in the fourth quarter. Gary Brown, a four-yard touchdown run with nine minutes left in the game. Penn State got the football back at their own 10-yard line, and they have marched now to the 18. It will be third down, 11. Saka comes back on the field. He has Smith and Daniels as his wide receivers. Now Timpson's going to come back in and replace Terry Smith. So Michael Timpson is back on. Brown and Green are the running backs. The play is set. The Lions are ready. Daniels comes to the left. Timpson to the right. Running backs will be split behind Tony Saka. The freshman quarterback who played at Virginia getting his real first opportunity here. Throwing deep for Timpson in the end zone. Out of the end zone. He made the catch, but he was out of the end zone. 
That was about a foot from a touchdown, and that was a pretty good throw. Again, they put a lot of pressure on soccer. They pick it up pretty good, but he handles it. He sees it. He drifts. He's got a feel for the pressure. Never takes his eyes off the receiver, and that ball is just about a yard too far. Michael Timpson could not get his feet in there. It was definitely an incompletion. Again, here we go, fourth and 11. Fourth and 11 at the 18-yard line. Daniels and Smith wide right out of the I formation. Saka looking, looking, waiting, still dumps it off. Pass complete. They've got a chance for the first down. A flag down at the five-yard line. Brown is spun out of bounds. I think it's defensive holding, though. I think they try to hold Brown. We have a flag down. The Lions move the football inside the five. Again, good presence by Saka. John C. It'll be against Rutgers. They try to grab, grab Brown as he, as he swung out of the backfield. That was a good call. Stops the, ball the is, clock. The ball is spotted near the three-yard line. The clock is stopped with 53 seconds left in the game. And now joining the huddle and uh, the officials huddle is John Green, one of the co-captains. Well, wants they, to find out what the call is. Well, they can take the option on the play. They'll take the play on the three-yard line. Penn State should get this ball on the three-yard line. It is defensive holding. A little dump pass to Brown. Brown fought his way, finally spinning inside the three-yard line give before credit. Derek Baker was able to drag him out. John, you said it. Give credit to Saka. He picked it up. So the ball is at the three. The holding call is declined. First and goal, Nittany Lions with 53 seconds to play in the game. And one timeout. They got plenty of time to get it in there. Hey, baby, you don't get this opportunity this often. Tony Saka has a word with the coaches, returns to the huddle. Each timeout, each team with one timeout remaining. The ball is spotted at the three. First and goal, Penn State. Smith to the left, Daniels to the right. It is Thompson now at tailback. Green the fullback. Saka sets him up at the three. Thompson spins his way down to the two-yard line. It will be second down and goal. Steve Tompkins made the tackle. Timeout taken, the last one by Penn State, with 46 seconds left in the game. Well, two, Penn State's two yards away from victory. Maybe a yard and three quarters. Thompson cut it up real tough. But I would get Gary Brown in that backfield. Uh, right now here he's coming because he's the kind of a guy who can make that quick cut He's got those short strides and he's got a little bit more experience of finding the cracks in the defensive line It was Brown who fought the ball down to the three He was taken out for Thompson, but let's see if he will come back on the field with 46 seconds to play Again, you might he see does. The, you might see the rollout fake the Brown here. They got They'll have another shot so they might fake it and let Saka keep it, but I think they'll try to go off tackle with Brown Sam Gash also back in there. They'll go to the double tight end. John Wolf, David Jacob on. Now the Lions continue to change up on offense. Well, we have they, to have some more people go out. If they go to the short side with the two tight ends, fake that off tackle and let Saka keep it, that puts an awful lot of pressure on that corner. The ball has not been marked ready for play as yet. Eric Jonathan has came, come in at right tackle for Jeff Brubaker. Bob Vernalia. Matt McCartan has played a lot in the second half after Tim Freeman went down with an injury. Roger Duffy at center, along with Ed Monahan. Second down and goal. The ball at the two-yard line. Saka should have told his guys to get on the ball right away if we don't make it. Power formation. Strong to the right side. Diving to the two-yard line. It's Brown. He will not get in. Clock running with 40 seconds to play. On, that's it. They're on the ball. They can throw an incompleted pass here. Stop the clock. Clock continues. 34, 33 seconds to play. The ball is marked ready for play. Third down. A loss of a yard. It's three to go. Again. Saka with a keeper looking Easy. in the end zone. He's got a man wide open. Incomplete. 19 seconds left in the game. David Jacob was wide open in the end zone. The pass was a little bit too tall. And it is fourth down. I'll tell you, I'd come right back with the same play because they were so wide open. Rutgers is so conscious of that off tackle hole. I mean, here was the ball game. You can't get any more open than that. That's too bad for David Jacob. He too actually, I, I think, mistimed his jump just a little bit yeah. as he went up for the ball. And I think Saka kind of nursed it in there a little bit. And he, he was surprised to see him that open. Okay, they got one more shot. Fourth down. Ball at the three yard line. Saka looking, rolling, still looking. Throws into the end zone, incomplete. 
and that will do it. Fourth down and the Scarlet Knight, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights will get the football back. Great goal line stand by Rutgers, you gotta give them credit. Penn State had the opportunities, they made too many mistakes. 12 seconds remaining, and a lot of years of frustration are about to end for Rutgers. It was 70 years ago that Rutgers defeated Penn State 26 to three, and since then it has been all Penn State. Timpson, the intended receiver near the back of the end zone, he was diving for the ball, but it was out of his reach, no chance. 12 seconds are all that remains, and Dick Anderson is going to beat Joe Paterno for the first time in his 50 years head coach of the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. Oh, what a great football game this afternoon. Two big wins for Dick Anderson, you know, on a road. Beats Michigan State away. And as they fall on the ball at the one, Penn State has no timeouts remaining, and that will do it. Tenth largest crowd in the history of Beaver Stadium. And for the first time since Dick Anderson moved from Penn State to Rutgers, the Scarlet Knights get the victory. That's the end of the game. The final score, Rutgers 21, Penn State 16. We'll be back in a moment on the Penn State Sports Network.